And it's been a deadly start to the new year in the city. At least three people are dead after two separate shootings that happened two hours apart. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is staying on top of both investigations. He's in the 4700 block of Griscom Street tonight with the very latest. Howard. Well, it is still a very active investigation out here. Police are still here on scene. They've been out here since about 2 o'clock. They had just got finished canvassing the scene out here on Griscom Street. Now, this shooting happened outside of a convenience store here and also outside of a bus stop. Meanwhile, on this first day of 2020, people are asking, when is the violence going to stop? And I'm just hoping that 2020 can be a better year for everyone um, and stop all the senseless killing. Hope for a better 2020 is dwindling after three people are shot and killed in the city on the first day of the year. I don't live that far from here and I hear a lot of gun shots, you know, periodically through the night, wee hours of the morning and, you know, then you hear the cops coming and I'm like, okay, somebody else done got shot. So it's like... Laura, when is it going to stop? Jermaine Gordon lives near the intersection of Arch and 59th Streets. Around noon, a 41 year old man was shot near the intersection of Arch and Hobart Street. He was shot in the chest and back and later died at Presbyterian Hospital. It's just too much. It really is too much. Two hours later in Frankfurt, Philadelphia police got a call about a triple shooting. A 24 year old man was shot twice in the chest and died at Frankfurt Jefferson Hospital. A 26 year old man shot twice in the chest died from his injuries at Temple Hospital. A 32 year old woman was shot in the arm and hand. She is listed in stable condition. And today's homicides, they follow the deadliest year in the city in 12 years. 356 homicides were recorded in 2019. We're going to have another update for you coming up when we see you at 6 o'clock. However, no arrests have been made in any of today's shootings. Live in Frankfurt, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Howard, thank you. And